वेलकम टू अवर मैं प्रोफेसर देशमुख एम एस प्रेजेंटिंग थ्री लेक्चर्स बेस्ड ऑन गैस लोब्रिकेटिंग बेरिंग सो वाट एक्जैक्टली द गैस लोब्रिकेटिंग बेरिंग आर देर ओके इट्स नेम सजेस्ट गैस एज अ लोब्रिकेटिंग एलिमेंट bearing that everybody knows that right? what is the role of bearing it will be provide the rotary motions or revolvery motions between the two magnetic parts that is called as bearing which will be again support to the element if the shaft is rotating with respect of the your frame or tensionary part under that conditions in between these two that bearing is fix bearing is fix over the shaft again it is attached to the frame of the required things so what happened in the case of the gas lubricated bearing the gas it may be nitrogen or oxygen is being used as a the lubricating element in the bearing in order to provide sufficient vapor pressure over the surface in order to avoid the contact between the two parts this is uh, the case of the gas lubricating bearing that will be see in detail now now in this case there is uh, one of the paper which is uh, being published on the the air bearing that is gas bearing we can say that look at this they are having the air bearing is forced the supply of the working fluid uh, in the fluid in the gap between the surfaces of the your stator and the rotor that i am saying that tensionary part and that of your rotating part okay then again these are being designed for the advanced oil free transit transmissions of the gas turbine plants increasing the pressure at which the working fluid is supplied leads to a gap increase the load capacity and the stiffness of the compressed layer the suppresses the vibrations but the consumption of the working fluid increases as well and the efficiency of the construction is lower the task of the design is to achieve the minimum working body consumption for a given load capacity the comparison of the gas static and the gas dynamic bearing is given so it is a uh, shown that drawback of the first type of the high air consumption that decreases the engine's efficiency and that of your risk of low resources to overcome this contradiction the turning segments are used such a bearing are called hybrid with self adjusting insert combine best qualities of the gas dynamic and gas static bearing now look at this in this the case that gas static bearing that we are having some classification classifications on the basis of the principle of lift look at this the theory of gas lubrications are the three principle creating the excessive pressure in the gas layer of the support which are called the principles of the gas lubrication the wedge effect first that is the wedge effect second that is the effect of external lubricating pumping and third that is effect of oscillating valve first that is the wedge effect second that is the effect of external lubrication pumping and at the last that is the effect of oscillating One. The 
the classification of this radial bearing it may be the radial radial axial and thrust the bearing prevent the shaft from the displacement the three type that is radial radial thrust and thrust bearing see this again the three categories comparative characteristics look at this comparative characteristics of gas lubricated bearing that is gsb and gdb so gdb gdb first that is used in the small high speed rotating devices uncontrollable gsb it is used in gyroscopes coordinating tables measuring devices controllable hybrid usb haven't found their use due to the control system performance problem advantages that is efficiency is good that advantages in the uncontrollable usb showing that the load capacity depends only on supplying the pressure and that of your area of interaction then again advantages the potentially perfect light supports for the high speed rotor then again see the disadvantages and i mean the low resources then difficult manufacturing file risk as high consumption of the working fluid in the case of your the uncontrollable uh, s gsb disadvantage the combined virtues of the both gsb and gdb which virtually compensate all disadvantages and linkages of necessary control systems so these are the cases where composite the things the comparative difference of the the character once again i am just repeating that the gsb and gdb which is a gdb first it is used for the high speed rotating devices while uncontrollable gsb is used for the gyroscope coordinating tables and the measuring devices controllable hybrid gsb i mean they haven't found their use due to the control system performance problem then again advantages are efficiency is good in the case of gdb and gsb this is uncontrollable gsb that is the load capacity depends only on supplying pressure and the area of interaction so these are the two dependent parameter that is the supplying pressure and that of your area of interaction then again controllable hybrid gsb is a potentially for fit light that supports for the high speed rotors some of the its advantages are there of the gdb that is low resources difficult manufacturing fire risk and here that is high consumption of the load fluid and then again the there is a combines the virtues of both gsb and gdb which virtually compensate all disadvantages linkages to the necessity of control system so these are the comparative point and these are the is yes.